Hey James. Yeah. So uh, how long you lived in Portland? Oh, 19 years. 19 years. So you are about to uh, tell us what you're about to do. I'm about to move into this as a way of not paying rent and being free of, uh, of that ongoing drain. How long have you been planning this? Oh, a few couple of months. Really? Yeah. Okay, can we see inside? Oh, it's kind of a mess. Okay. <laughs> well, there's more and more people that are going this route as they're seeing people lead by example. Mm -hmm. Um, what are your overall plans to make this uh, comfortable and livable? Well, uh, to this week I'm putting in an electrical system, which is uh, uh, wiring up the battery that I've got in the back here to, uh, to the 12-volt system on the car and, and, and running an inverter to get 120-volt power off of that. Uh, I've got propane for running a stove and a, and, and a heater. Okay, so how are you going to charge the batteries, uh, like a wire system where by running it, it charges them, or putting solar panels on the top? Well, I'm going or? to start with just uh, running it off the, the alternator in the truck. Uh, mm -hmm. Eventually, I want to put solar panels because that means I don't have to move the truck in order to, to keep it charged. Well, cool. Um, you want to show us inside yeah, the, sure. the dimensions? Now, this is obviously bigger than, than some, and it's, it's attached to the vehicle. Have you had this for a while, or do you find this on Craigslist? Yeah, I just found this uh, a few weeks ago, actually, at a car dealer. But, uh, yeah, this is, a car dealership? This is, okay. Yeah, so I, I added this, this new door to the yeah. back. It used to have a roll-up door. It wasn't really appropriate for... for it's it's for. wider than a lot of trailers, but you don't have to get an additional license. All you have to have is just right. the it's whole just vehicle the truck license, right. And then in here, I've got a table, I've got a couch, I've got a filing cabinet that I use for drawers. Yeah. Well, it shows us the space that's available. So someone could have a bed in here, a desk, an office. Yeah. And I've actually seen more uh, vehicles like this and trailers in Portland. Um, do you want to talk about what's going on with the job market? Kind of what led to this, uh, the rising <laughs> well, cost of rent? What's, what's going on in the job market is that I'm over 50. And over 50 uh, without a job is a really tough place to be in in Portland because nobody wants to even interview somebody who's over 50. Would, would you agree or disagree with the concept that in the job market in general there's a preference for women? in today's society, and in particular Portland. I don't really have any basis to, to, to conclude that, but okay. I do think that they prefer younger people. Mm -hmm. Just in general? Yeah. Okay. So are you going to stay in Portland, or are you starting to think about um, other issues, or is your heart pretty much, just ask you anything? <laughs> are, are you, are you going to be in Portland for the long haul, for the run, basically? I don't know. I don't know. I will, I, you know, at some point I'm going to realize that I'm not nailed down to Portland at all, uh -huh. uh, and, and then I'll go exploring most likely. Right. Uh, I, I've done this once before. I did this back in uh, like around 1990 or so. Oh, okay. Uh, and I, at the time, I and was that was during a recession. So, um, was. well, and that was actually, yeah, it was kind not of, as extreme of a recession, but yeah. one that affected, you know, a certain chunk of the population. Yeah, right. And I was living in Port in Seattle at the time, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was doing temporary jobs because, again, I, at that time, I was fed up with uh, with working 40 hours a week just to get somebody else's dreams uh, established, you know, uh, mm -hmm. realized rather. And, uh, and, and so when I finished one of the uh, one of these temporary positions, I said I think I'll go for a drive. And I did a loop around uh, Wyoming and Montana uh -huh. and Colorado and California and up here. I haven't been in Montana great. yet. Or, uh, well, I've been through Utah on Greyhound. Mm -hmm. But I'm about to go through Idaho then Utah. And then uh, into Colorado, through one of the passes, or up a little bit through Wyoming. Yeah. Yeah, dragging basically that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is going to be so. Any anything else? Any advice you want to give anyone else that may be in a similar situation soon? Uh, I would say keep it simple. There's there's things that are easy to do. Uh, you know, if, if, you know, everybody always wants to know how you stay clean, how you. Uh, what you do about water and things like mm -hmm. that. And in, in the camper that I had at one time, uh, I had full water, it had a pump, and it had a heater, and it had all, all this stuff, and that froze up one winter and destroyed all the components of it. Uh, so this time I'm using water in buckets and, uh, and uh, jerry cans. Uh, I've done that before, and it's just a matter of, well, if you want hot water, you heat it on the stove. It's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Uh, and you, by keeping it simple, you keep, it, you keep yourself independent of the complexities. People are talking about a rocket stove. I haven't looked at that route yet. I don't really have enough space for it now, but maybe in a building structure I would, but something, you know, for the winter. Um, yeah. A rocket stove, if there's ventilation, that can be one option. That's, and then yeah. there's the Mr. Buddy, if you've seen the propane there's heaters. The Mr. Buddy. Uh, okay. there's, there's actually some, I, I, I haven't got it yet, but uh, I'm going to wait until it starts getting cold. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, there are other options.
options that uh, like a uh, a radiant heater that mounts mm -hmm. right on the top of the propane jug uh, that'll that put out as much as 15,000 BTU, which mm -hmm. is plenty more than I need. Uh, and so that, that, that costs even less than a, a Mr. Buddy, and I think that's what I'll probably do. Out of your, uh, your friends that are about your same age, how many are in a similar situation or possibly could be soon? Like a certain I, percentage or, or suspicion of where it could go, too. Yeah, I'd say that probably a quarter of the people that I know my age are at least thinking about this sort of thing. I mean, not a lot of them are going to actually do it. Uh, but having done this a little bit when I was younger, I'm, you know, I'm not scared of it. Mm -hmm. And are most of them people that uh, own their own home or people that are renting a home that someone else owns? Most of the part, for the most part, they're people renting. Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be a big adventure in the next couple of years. <laughs> with, uh, and uh, I don't think there's a perfect community for any of us because people are people and we need our own space. And this can provide that option for people. So yeah. they don't have to necessarily live in someone's house you know, or on their couch. The idea is to be somewhat self-sufficient to where you don't need to be on someone's couch. Yeah. And so something like this is big enough that, you know, even a, a woman can um, make this feminine and, and make it smell nice, make it however she wants. It's not just a male thing. Mm -hmm. But are you seeing more men or women that you know going this route? I have, well, I, you know, I've been looking on the web and I found, I found uh, several groups and, and websites that are all about uh, living in a vehicle. And... And on those, I've seen as many women as men who are, who are interested in this. Not in a similar age doing, group of post-40? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else oh, to add? Any? Also, no, there's also a bunch of younger ones. I mean, I see okay. them in their 20s uh, deciding to do this. And I could see some people that are younger wanting to opt out from the system for whatever reason. You know, some people just are coming to an awareness it's not really necessary for people to work a certain amount just to well, pay for something and, that they and, won't own. Some people just catch on faster. Right. I mean, <laughs> you know, those of us who are in our 50s, it's like, gee, I wish I thought of this 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I did. It's just that I kind of got lured back into it for a while. Right.